Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. What's happening? I'm your host James and today I think we're going to call this Eating with G and C or something like that. But pretty much going to show you all what I eat besides chicken strips again. And then I'm probably going to give you a little rundown of, well this is going to go out to all you guys that don't think you need to clean your rifles after you shoot them. You do. And you don't want to get out there and be like, ha 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 ha, that wouldn't be good. So first, I'm going to show y'all what I eat, and then I'm going to show y'all how to, I guess you could call it field strip and clean my SIG 716 308. So I decided for this episode we are going to be cooking fancy grilled machises. First, you need to get your pan, then you get your cheddar, cheese, then you get your bread, then you get this show a rocket your coconut oil cooking spray. Nice light coat. Then you touch your oven burner on low. Let that get nice and toasty. Put your bread all nice and laid out. Put you some cheese on there. Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now that you got your cheese all even, put my little secret ingredient on it. Fruit snacks, the bomb. Spread those all nice and even on there. Yeah, that's perfect. Just remember that secret ingredient is patented by Guns and Chicken Strip Incorporated LLC out of Fort Worth, Texas. Don't forget, grab you an extra pack to eat and take a fruit snacks break. Mm -mm. Now that you got fruit snack break out of the way, it's time to get started with the cooking. You take your first cheese and you delicately put it in the pan. Get you a spatula, one of my favorite kitchen utensils. Flip. Now that that one's done, go ahead and put that on finished side of the cutting board. Let me get started on the other two. Now that you've got your gourmet cheese my sandwiches all grilled up, it's time to cut them up. And you're not gonna use just any chef knife or whatever. This has got to chicken strips. This is what we're using. K-Bar machete. You get your grilled McCheeses, put them on a plate. Now that you've got your grilled cheese American style on there, you gotta get your ketchup plate. Ketchup, of course, generous amount, generous. Then you enjoy this American made meal like a boss. Now that you've finished devouring the meal that you just made for yourself, let's get in there and clean that rifle. Guns and chicken trip style. First things first, gotta keep it simple. You gotta get your rifle. Remember, first thing you always do is check, make sure it's clear. And this is actually my first time taking apart this rifle and cleaning it. We're gonna learn together. From the outside, it looks pretty much exactly the same as any other AR platform. Let's get started. Shout pins here. Comes apart, your lower and your upper. Pull out your charging handle and bolt carrier assembly. Take out your buffer and your spring. Give them a quick wipe down. This, you don't really have to worry about that much. You wanna keep obstacles out of it, give it a wipe down. Pretty much it for that. Everybody's gonna tell you how to do things differently. But for me, what I find to be best for my firearms is I just take everything apart, wipe it down, put lube on it, let it sit for, I'd say 30 minutes or overnight, just depending on how much time you have, and then wipe it down again, then lube it up, put it back together. For me, that's perfect. Take this beast apart, bolt, firing pin, disgusting. Straight disgusting. Take your firing pin, give it a good wiping. And I find gun cleaning to be very, very soothing. I could sit here and do this for hours, you know. It's just, I was never forced to do it, so I still really enjoy it. So, just clean it up, wipe it down. Give it a good, good deep cleaning. Set over here for now, take a bolt, wipe it down. Apologize for that dog. I don't know what he's barking at. Wipe it down. Get all the goo out of the crevasses. Check for all carbon buildup. Try to get all that off. Being that this is a new gun, and I've probably only fired 300 rounds out of it, it's not gonna be that dirty. So I'm not that worried about it. I just thought I'd show you rookies out there how an amateur cleans his guns. Wipe them all down. There's all kinds of brass buildup on there. Gonna get copper brush. 
Give that a good scrub in there. Wipe it down one more time. Remember, you always gotta get in there real nice and deep. Like. And you'll wanna run a cleaning rod down the barrel just a couple times. Get it nice and clean. Gun cleaner's best friend and worst enemy. See that? Unacceptable. Perfect. Now that that's clean, lube it up a little bit. Now that you got everything all nice and lubed up, cleaned and lubed, cleaned, then lubed again, start putting this bad mama jamma back together. Now that you get it all back together, do a check. Make sure you point the gun in a safe direction. It's all good. Now, what I like to do after I'm done cleaning the rifles, I like to make it look pretty. Take it, I just rub a very light coat of lube on the all the metal parts and then rub it all off make it look all nice and shiny I'm just feeling stress just fly off me right now so much stress relief in this work it's a motro can't stand it so get off clean some guns For those of you who don't know who didn't watch my first video, Destroying a Revolver, this is my SIG 716-308 chambered in 762 by 51 or otherwise known in the civilian world as 308. And I've got a LaRue tactical scope mount on there. Texas, baby. And I've got a Trigicon AccuPoint 1x4 with the tritium on the top. It's just a beautiful rifle. I told the dude at the gun store K5 Arms Exchange off 114 by Cabela's in Roanoke, Texas, that I need a 308 or I need an AR-10, but it's gotta be FDE. Boom. He said, check out this little princess. I said, here you go. And I said, thank you. I'll take it because this thing is beautiful. I'm not big on big quad front rails. I like it to be as thin as possible. But this came with covers, and I don't know, I just fell in love with it. It's a very heavy rifle for an AR-10. That's because it has a gas piston system and not a direct impingement. I just love it. This rifle is just sweet all around good. Came with flip-up backup sights. It's a bad dude. It's just a bad dude. I love it. Everything about it is just, just beautiful. I look at it and it just makes me happy, you know? It's just one of those things. There's two things, firearms, and the other I'm not gonna go into on this. That's a later story. Get all nice and cleaned up. Outside's looking beautiful. Barrel's all clean. Scope's all nice and cleaned up. That cap back on there. Get it back in the case. Check, make sure it's clear one more time. Good to go. Until next time, baby. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Guns and Chicken Strips. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna call this little thing I do where I show y'all what I eat, but if you got a suggestion, leave it in the comments. And I know that rifle cleaning wasn't very informational for you avid gun users, but I figured I got a bunch of kids watching and I just give them a little small lesson on gun safety while cleaning rifles and how to take one apart. Maybe they'll enjoy it. I don't know, but if you enjoyed the episode and remember to leave a comment if you got a suggestion for a name of the skit and we'll see you tomorrow.